we'll be using a FreeBSD tool called GPART. Now, no, this is not the same as GParted, uh, which is also a Linux formatting tool. It, they are different, although you could easily get confused by both if you're from the Linux world moving to FreeBSD. It's also worth noting that for FreeBSD, USB or any external drives plugged in will normally take the form of DA0 for the first drive, DA1 for the second, DA2 for the third, etc. So if we only have one plugged in, which we will, it will always be referred to DA0. Right. Having plugged the USB stick in, we'll issue D message so we can see what the USB stick is assigned as. And of course, it's going to be DA0. And there it is, just to check at the bottom to make sure that you're going to be using the right one. It's always DA0 if it's going to be on its own. So there is that DA0 and the SanDisk Ultra. And the first thing we need to do, other than clearing the screen, is we're just going to root. You can use sudo, do as, or whichever way you want. Uh, if we issue gpart, we're going to, as it says, destroy the format table of the USB stick. In this case, forward slash dev forward slash DA0. And this will erase everything on the USB stick. So make sure that you've got the right USB stick you want to use and not one containing something you don't want to lose. And the format table has been destroyed. Once this has been done, we will need to create a new partition table for the device. And because we're using FAT32, we'll need to use MBR. So it's gpart create hyphen s MBR forward slash dev forward slash DA0. After this has been done, we need to add the file system type to the drive. So we use gpart add hyphen t for type really FAT32 forward slash dev forward slash DA0. But we're not finished yet. All we've done is specify the file system type. We need to actually fill the drive with the FAT32 file system blocks. So in order to do that, we issue the command new FS or new file system underscore MS DOS hyphen capital L. And that's to let, we'll give it a title, um, just in, you know, to, so we can list the USB so we know what's on it. We'll call it files. Then it's hyphen capital F 32 and dev DA0 then S1. The S1 ironically being the sector zero slice, uh, which effectively covers the entire USB stick. Once that's done, which doesn't take two seconds, we uh, just click the screen. If you gpart list, it will show you the attached devices. And there we go. And the one that we want just comes up, happens to come up in the middle of the screen there. And it's showing you it's uh, DA0, which is uh, the right one. And it is a FAT32, which is what we want. And of course, it reports um, 57 gigabytes. It's never give you the full 60, uh, 64, but there you go. To put a native UFS, which is the um, Unix file system, which is uh, it's very stable, it's fast, and it's great for low-powered systems. So we need to, as we did before, gpart destroy the file table, and capital F, forward slash dev, forward slash DA0. Poor old USB stick, I don't know where it's coming or going, but uh, there we go. So we just destroyed what we just made, and we need to create a new uh, partition table. This time we're going to be using GPT, which is uh, really what UFS needs, and I think is the preferred uh, partition table type. Then we just do gpart add hyphen t for the type freebsd hyphen ufs, then forward slash dev forward slash da0. Just press enter. Note it automatically tells you that it's now da0 p1. So it's new fs forward slash dev forward slash da0, and then that p1 that we noticed before. The P1 being partition one. So we list it again. As we see before, it's now DA0 P1 rather than S1. And it's FreeBSD UFS. So yes, that's it. That's how you format 
a USB stick in FreeBSD with FAT32 and UFS. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.